Golden Auctions lost two comic books in a big lot that I won when it came to some sports cards as well. Today, I'm going to give you an honest review of that situation, essentially what went down, what they did to try and rectify the situation, and then essentially give you that point of view. Now, this is not something that is just limited to myself. I've had multiple people reach out with similar stories. So I just want to share this with you guys so you can understand you know, what is actually happening out there and what you can try and do to try and get some recourse, get some response back from Golden if you're facing similar issues. Now, for those of you that saw my pickups video yesterday, if you haven't seen it, please check it out because there is a bunch of really, really cool cards in there. You would have heard me briefly mention that Golden basically stuffs me around a little bit. Now, earlier on in the year, I won a bunch of Pokemon cards and a bunch of random ass things as well, and I was basically having everything sit within my vault. I then decided to sell some cards on that platform as well, and what wasn't known to me at the time was that if you are an international customer, it's really difficult to get the funding up. So I decided to use my profits from selling those cards to buy some comic books. Um, I'm a bit of a comic book nerd. You can see some on my shelf up there. Um, so I thought, let's just try and grab some things. Now I picked up a Daredevil number three, number four, both CGC graded from the Silver Age of Comics. Um, pretty you know important period there if you are a Marvel fan. But what happened next was pretty interesting. So I paid for these books and they took a long time to shop in my vault. I want to say upwards of three to four weeks before they finally did decide to show up. And this was quite concerning for me because it, it was, you know, annoying and I paid, um, you know, a decent amount of coin for the for these books themselves. Now, there's some back and forth with, um, you know, a contact out at Golden just through their customer support page. They gave me some assurances that these books would eventually show up and then I'd be able to you know, ship them home, ship them to ship my cards and then ship them home to here in Australia. And the reason why I'm giving you this context, you'll you understand a little bit later on, but once they finally did arrive into my vault, I decided to, to ship them home. Um, to my surprise, because this was not communicated to me, when they did arrive at Ship My Cards, the comic books were missing. Um, the cards that I actually won had shipped together, did decide to show up, but the comic books were missing. Now, this was a little bit concerning because the invoice itself didn't specify that these things were getting shipped separately, right? I got charged my $1 fee, which Golden uses for their vault platform. Um, and I paid that, didn't tell me these things were gonna come separately. They just arrived in a notice when I went to check my ship my cards when it said parcel received, logged in, the books weren't there. So from my perspective, I thought number one, maybe these were stolen or number two, Golden themselves lost them. Now, this is a little bit annoying, as I alluded to yesterday, because Ship My Cards charge you a fee based on the number of things that you're getting. And because these books now came at a separate time, or at least were going to come at a separate time, per my understanding, um, I was going to get charged more money. I was out of pocket, about $20 USD. Now, the piece that this gets a little bit concerning was the response from Golden, because when I did reach out to them and said, these books are missing, they were a little bit shocked. They said they should have been shipped together. And then after, you know, three to four days of back and forth support, which I will give Golden credit for, every time I've reached out to their customer support, they've been really quick to respond. So their customer support function, I think is fantastic, at least from my experience. It's the other things that are sort of letting them down. They basically eventually came to me and said, we found one of the books. We don't know what happened. We're going to ship it to you. The other book, we're going to ship to you at a later date. I So now they're going to come in two separate packages and cost me even more money. Now, this was a bit concerning because as a customer, having a platform basically tell you that they weren't really sure where the books were or they're going to correct it for you, they're going to look for them, they're going to make sure to make this right and then say they're going to come separately. That doesn't fill you with a whole lot of confidence, right? Now, after this back and forth for a few days, they did end up finding the books. They told me that one of the books was going to come first. The second one would come later on. Now, lo and behold, when this book did arrive, both were in there together, which again raises a few more questions because Golden themselves weren't aware that both books were going to go together. Um, I did tell them that this cost me more money now because Ship My Cards charged me a fee twice when they should have only done it once and they gave me a $20 coupon, which was really good on them. They probably didn't need to do that, but it was nice of them to do it. But the thing here that is concerning is the fact that they're sort of misplacing cards and books and not being entirely sure of why that is sort of happening. And when this was happening to me, I did reach out to a few people, in particular ARH Sports, who's I think since talked about it in a separate video where a subscriber reached out to him and had a very similar experience. I've had other people tell me the same thing, about three to four other people on top of, you know, just talking to AIH Sports, where, you know, they're basically buying cards, getting them shipped home, but things are coming up in multiple orders. Cards are going missing. They have to follow up in order to get those cards sent back to them. Cards are not showing up in their vault after waiting weeks, sometimes even months, to get the cards to show up in the vault. And the general consensus from Golden off the back of this is, it's still got to do with the fact that they've been acquired by Collector's you know, Universe in the sense that 
They've got this vault platform that's tied to PSA. The Golden Auction House and the vault are still not communicating all that well. They're not working together all that well, which is why the gaps are happening. Now, the reason why I'm telling you about this, because I did in fact get my books, as you would have seen in my video yesterday, is just to let you guys know that if you're experiencing similar things, that's the way you go about correcting it. Reach out to their customer support and you're going to get an answer relatively quickly. And if you're finding that, you know, you're not getting anywhere with them, just be blunt with them and tell them they need to fix the situation. Because again, when I reached out to them, like I said, they communicated really quickly, but they sort of gave me a wishy-washy answer. I had to push back on them a few times to get them to actually take the situation seriously, because the initial response, I should say, is, well, if I wanted them together, I should have shipped them together. When in reality, if they checked my invoice, they would have seen that I did, in fact, want them together. So there's all these, you know, miscues with how they're communicating between themselves, right? There seems to be a bit of a kink in that chain. And and like I said, I've had people tell me they've actually lost cards completely. They don't know where they've gone. So does this mean that potentially, right, you've got somebody out there at Golden dipping cards, dipping books, dipping auction items in the hope that the person buying it is actually not going to realize you know, that could be a possibility because it's just a bit strange how, you know, these things are happening and then all of a sudden they happen to find, you know, your book after weeks of asking questions, right? It just gets a bit a bit interesting and it's just one thing to keep front of mind if you're planning to use their platform. Number one, if you are an international customer and you're planning to sell things there, it is very bloody difficult to get your money off them and, and get money quickly. And then number two, if you want to be buying from them, expect to see issues like this arise. And if they do arise, reach out to their customer support because their customer support is their best function, even though they can be a bit wishy-washy at times. Most people, when they think of gold and they see things that, you know, breakout cards spoke about yesterday when it comes to a fake cricket card being on there, a very expensive cricket card, seeing the fake soccer cards that have landed on their platform, seeing the fake, um, you know, patch top cards, et cetera, shop on their platform. That's what people think about when they're questioning golden. But you guys need to keep front of mind or be aware that it's not just cards themselves on their platform that you need to be you know, wary of and you need to be questioning whether or not they've been tampered with or, any, or anything like that. The things happening once you buy the cards also can be quite concerning as well. Now, I know I did just ramble for quite some time, but I just wanted to share that with you guys so you can sort of not fall into the same trap. Or if you, if you do experience similar things to what I just did, you know how to go about getting um, a reply back from them. Uh, I want to repeat myself again, their customer support did a pretty good job in the end, and I've always found that they respond relatively quickly because I've had other issues in the past where my cards just don't even show up in my vault, let alone go missing once I've paid for them. And I've always got a response within you know 12 to 24 hours. And if you go back and forth with them, they're going to be wishy-washy with you. But if you're blunt and you're wanting a response and you're showing that you're not an idiot and you're communicating to them respectfully, you're going to get, you know, some acknowledgement back from them. They're going to respond to you and actually action things. Now, you can crap on them as a business all you want because these mistakes they're making are not good enough. These things that they do when it comes to allowing cards on their platform that are fake, patch stopped, etc., is not good enough. They are too slow to react at certain times. But at least this is just one tick um, in the box of maybe why you should decide to use gold. And if you do decide to use them, you just need to be aware that um, your cards and your books might go missing until you start asking enough questions. Because again, I've had so many people tell me the same story. So many people say, unfortunately, your card's lost and there's nothing we can do about it or something's happened. It got lost in the mail. And it's the constant questions that eventually they're like, oh, I found your card. How lucky. So let me know if you've you know, experienced any similar things yourself. Please share your thoughts down below. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.